HTC has spent the last couple of months reinventing its approach to design. The company sort of hinted to the U Ultra being just a stepping stone into a broader result for 2017, and today we finally get the opportunity to tell you more about it. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and this is the HTC U11. Remember the time when HTC launched the One Max to complement the One M7? Well, don't think of the U11 as a complement to the U Ultra, as the U11 is really the company's flagship for 2017. Sure, they are visually similar, following the U designation, but 11 is to confirm that this is the successor to last year's 10. U11 continues with the company's new liquid design mentality, which consists of 3D form glass, a very complex process that came as a result of a collaboration with Corning. The result is a set of curves on the glass that allow them to blend with the aluminum almost seamlessly. At a glance and in the hand, you can't really tell where the glass ends and the aluminum trim begins. The effect is striking, and the feel is even better. The color is more a result of a vaporized deposition process to achieve a very reflective effect, which is obviously not camera friendly. I'm more of a fan of this amazing silver option, but you can also get the phone in sapphire blue, ice white, and brilliant black. The U11 has also been fitted with all the bells and whistles that it needs to compete with other flagships. We have a Snapdragon 835 processor met with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of expandable storage. There's also IP67 water and dust resistance, something we've been waiting to see from HTC for a while. We have a standard 16x9 5.5 inch Super LCD 5 capable of Quad HD resolution and the same punchy color that we praise from the U Ultra. Below the display, we also have the standard fingerprint home button and capacitive keys, meaning those 5.5 inches on the panel are all for content consumption. When compared to other devices, the U11 is actually smaller than the iPhone 7 Plus, but obviously larger than the LG G6, Samsung Galaxy S8, and the HTC 10. The camera offers some very interesting changes that we cannot wait to test. This is an HTC Ultra Pixel 3 sensor that's now nearly flush to the chassis. To achieve this, the Ultra Pixels are now of 1.4 microns, and the company also upgraded the aperture to f1.7. The selfie camera is also unchanged, at least in what it can do when compared to the U Ultra, meaning you have 16 megapixels that can become 4 Ultra Pixels, even though this is actually a very different process that we'll discuss in the review. Powering the show is HTC Sense on top of Android 7.1.1, where we maintain that same mentality of applications not being duplicated. Visually, it mimics a lot of what we saw with the U Ultra, but with the boost of version 7.1.1, which should mean we should have better battery life thanks to the enhancements of the latest and greatest version of Android. Now, there are a few things that make this phone really unique. For those of you wondering exactly what you'll be squeezing from this phone, well, that's because there are pressure sensors hidden under the aluminum trim, which enable two extra buttons that are programmable. Squeeze lightly to trigger one, squeeze harder to trigger the other. You can actually control the pressure sensitivity of these. The trick is really cool and one I'm really looking forward to giving a try for my personal needs. And for those of you complaining about the death of the headphone jack, there's actually trick number two. Yes, if you want the headphone jack, there is going to be a bundled adapter, but the U11 brings the same four USonic microphones that we praise from the U Ultra. This allows HTC to provide active noise cancellation to the bundled USonic headphones, saving you the need to invest in very expensive active noise cancellation headphones that are also very bulky. And obviously we also have HTC's Boom Sound Hi-Fi stereo speakers for everything else. Overall, the HTC U11 is a lot more than what I was honestly expecting at the briefing. Everything that we've wanted to see from an HTC flagship is finally here, and we just can't wait to give it a try, as our review period has just begun.